Hi, exploring Jordan with Jules. This is my experience of my very first attempt of getting my visa extension when I arrived, after I arrived in Jordan in 2024. So I arrived in Jordan on Saturday the 25th of May 2024 and I have been here four weeks. So with the Jordan Pass, I ended on the Jordan Pass, with that I get a waiver for the 40 JD for the one month tourist visa. I knew that I was going to be staying in the country for 70 days so I knew that I need to either one, get a visa extension at the at a police station or I overstay my visa and then pay 1.5 JD per day before I exit. Now I don't want to do that particular route because I do not want any form of I don't know, negative information on my national insurance number and I don't ever want to be um, not in a country legally or I don't want to have I've never been an illegal and I don't want that on my visa. So because today is Thursday, tomorrow is Friday, the weekends here are Friday, Saturday. So Saturday when I need to get my new visa, I knew that the police station would be closed and not being able, not issuing. So my thought was I would go to the police station today and I would get my new visa for three months. I went to my local police station and the time was just after 12 o'clock, definitely before 12.30, and we asked the policeman on the gate, uh, can we get our visa extensions? And he said, that person has gone home. End of story. It's Thursday and it's not uncommon for um, government employees to close up shop and go home early on a Thursday to have a bit of an extra time for the long weekend. But the other thing that is happening for this Thursday since Sunday to today, today is the last day of Eid, um, Eid Abda, second Eid after the Hajj. So there would be a lot of officers that either were understaffed or people having a holiday. So we went to um, Abdali. We went to a different police station that I've heard is of from online Facebook groups that they do process visa extensions. So um, Al came with me because I don't speak Arabic. We get to the guard house. The guard asks for my passport. He writes down my name. Um, he tells me to turn my phone down to silent and then to give him the phone and he puts the phone into a, like a pigeonhole and gives me a little card. So that's the security so that I cannot take my phone into the police station. Absolutely fine. So we get into the police station itself. None of the signs are in English. Everything is in Arabic. We ask the next person and he points us down a corridor. We wander down the corridor, door after door after door. We got to about the fifth door, um, three people in there talking, we ask about, we want to do a visa extension and um, a man comes from an office across the corridor and he's basically saying, because my neighbourhood is not Abdali, my neighbourhood is the neighbourhood next door, that I needed to have my application commenced at my local police station and that if um, I go get that started at the local police station then I come to this police station Abdali and he would finish it if, if we did all this before two o'clock it would be fine and he reminded us about the overpayment of 1.5 JD for every day that you 
overstay your visa, which we were aware of. But one of the things that I got additionally cross at, because I was fuming, you can't actually get angry in this country because you cannot move an immovable object if the someone says no, it's no. Even if the office is open, they say no, you just have to walk away. There's a lot of stuff that I just cannot get, get my head around. Anyway, so one, thing I, one additional thing I was quite cross about is Al didn't actually say, well, we've been to Abdali and they're not there. He's gone home for the day and so we won't be able to. So, you know, after all the shaking of hands and thank you very much and blah, 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 knowing full well that we weren't going to go back to the previous police station to be able to start the application to get back to this guy before two o'clock to get the visa done. So today is Thursday. My visa expires on Saturday. This is a public holiday. There's nothing I can do about it. I will just have to see what happens on Sunday when uh, we go and we try again. Okay, my Sunday update for my visa extension application. Al arrived uh, really early, about nine o'clock, so that we could get to my local police station really promptly, really early. So we were there by 10 o'clock. Parking was really easy at this time. So we went in and so same thing, go through the big mesh gate, um, go to get signed in, give your phone over, uh, get a token for your phone where it gets put into a pigeonhole, go upstairs to the visa office, visa room. There was a really long, huge desk with a woman who was the accountant, the cashier, and then three guys on the main desk. And then behind that, there were four desks, uh, three guys and a woman were working in the desks behind that. So we explained what we were there for and he guided me to form number three, which was the residency visa extension, the renewal of residency visa application form. So I did that. And then when I did that, I had to then go to the Abdali police station. So we drove over there, parking wasn't too bad because we actually went into the paid parking. It cost us one JD. So when we got to the Abdali police station, go through the big metal gates, go through the security. He didn't write our name down this time in the book. It was the same guy that we had seen on Thursday, the solid bald guy. And so we just had to hand over our phones and get the little card for the, in the pigeonhole. And then we went because we knew exactly where to go. But this time we had to, um, instead of going down the long corridor to where all the offices were, we were directed to go and sit in a little waiting station. And there were two guys that came through the security door before us. A uh, gentleman from Asia and another gentleman from Latin America. So they went through and got their bio biometrics taken first, and then we just waited until we were called. So we went and then we waited until we were called into another room. So moved from one seating area that was air conditioned to a seating area that was just in the corridor. And we waited, 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 and everybody else went in and out of that room a lot. And so Elsa just got to stand in the door, in the doorway. So I went and I stood in the doorway, smiled, and went back and sat down. And then she immediately called me in. So it was like she didn't know I was there. Anyway, so what she did was she fingerprinted me on an electric fingerprint machine, had um, a another just facial recognition one done again and the eye eye one the eye one the eye camera is was on it is is on a telescoping arm and of course it's broken 
So everybody has to, you have to squat down, you have to squat down to make sure your eyes get in the vision of the goggle. Because normally at immigration or they will just move the arm to where you are, a tall person, a short person. No, 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 no. This, clearly this machine has been overworked its entire life. So there I am, but I squatting down like I'm doing a potty squat to make it. And he's going, over your eyes, over your eyes. I go, eyes are red. And stop blinking. Okay. <laughs> so, but I have my eye, eyes done, my biometrics and my eyes done. Most, some entries, I've been here. This is my 15th time. So I would have had my eyes done probably about six times. Sometimes they do my eyes and sometimes they don't. Anyway, so that was fine. I had to then go back to my local um, police station. Went back, same guy. And so he took the paper. Oh, sorry. Before we left Abdali, they put two stamps on the back of my application. The other things that I needed was a photocopy of my passport and um, a photocopy of my, I got my photocopy of my cushion. Other than that, it would have been a letter from the um, landlord or something of that nature. Anyway, Abdali didn't want those things. So when I got back to my local um, police station, we handed the documents over, the photocopy of the passport, the photocopy of the cushion and the um, form that we just we'd filled out taken to a deli and got stamped twice on the back oh what is a cushion a cushion is the land deeds for the property that I have purchased so if you were renting you would need a letter from your um, landlord to say that you are staying or you would need a letter from your employer or something of that nature but because I'm a homeowner, I just I needed a copy of my cushion. So so when we got back to uh, my local police station, we just waited our turn. It was very busy. People coming in and out, whole families. So you need a yearly renewal of your residency visa. So we waited, we waited, we waited, and the guy said that it's 40 JD for a month and we wanted to extend for till the 2nd, the 4th of August, so it was actually six weeks, but you can only do it in monthly blocks, and because I came in on a Jordan Pass, he only charged me 40 JD. So in theory, he probably should have charged me 80 JD, but he didn't. He only charged me uh, 40 JD. So I paid the 40 JD, um, got a stamp in my passport with my um, exit date up till the 24th of August. So I'm going out on this about the 2nd of August. So that's no big deal. And then that was it. It was a bit of a convoluted uh, situation and you need to make sure you have breakfast before you go so you don't get hangry. Make sure you're well hydrated because it's a, it took us two hours. By the, it took us literally two hours by the time we came out of the local police station. By the time we entered the first police station and did all the chores in between and came out of that same police station, uh, it was two hours later. So make sure you don't have to pee in a police station because the public toilets are pretty shocking. Make sure you carry your toilet paper with you if you do have to do that, but I never choose to. So that is how I have got my renewed visa, my extended visa for this second month of this visit to Jordan. While we were there, we actually made some general inquiries by reading all the notices on the board, what I would need for my residency visa when I come back next year. But I'll do a separate video about that. I was exploring Jordan with Jules. That's my experience on getting my visa, an extended visa here in Jordan in 2024. Mm -hmm.